guys, Trogdor here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. Today I have for you another way to secure your doors. And this is a Redstone dust key. And it includes a T flip flop in the design so you can take your dust and the door will still stay open. So if you've never seen one of these before, the concept is pretty easy. You would basically put a redstone dust somewhere uh, not necessarily right next to the door but it would be hidden so you wouldn't have a diamond block here that's just for display purposes uh, ideally this would just be a grass block so it's completely hidden but yeah it's just a basically a hidden input as you can see, each time I place it, it toggles the door. So you go ahead and take that off, you go into the inside, and then you can also close the door with that button and open it if you need to. So let's look inside this thing and see exactly what uh, or what's in here and what's making this work so okay and this is what is basically running this whole thing there is a redstone torch underneath this but I don't have to really show you that so basically when you place a dust here it sends a pulse down into this little T flip flop down here so yeah okay let's get on with the tutorial then so basically we're going to start off by building our doorway. The door is actually going to be back one, so the door will be right there. <coughs> so there's our doorway, and then we got a wall, which is It would be that big. This block technically isn't needed, but since I enclosed that one, I'm going to build this one the same way, so this could be enclosed. So this is just going to be a solid wall. <coughs> Next, what you're going to do is dig down right here because I'm going to place it right next to the door like I did over there, but if you're building it somewhere else, this is pretty much where you just go put this redstone torch where you want it to be. This will be the black that you place the dust on. And then from there you can build this uh, wherever you want. So your torch is underneath this black. So just behind this black you're going to place a... Actually, no, I take that back. We're going to build this one a little bit different. It's going to be the same design. It's just I'm going to build it in a different order because it seems like it would be easier. So I'm actually going to delete these six blocks. So torch is there. Or the torch would be behind and down one behind this block. So these six blocks right here you're going to delete. You're going to place a dropper facing this way, then another one right here facing this way, and then another one right here facing this way. And then you're going to go ahead and place a hopper facing into this dropper right here. <clears throat> And then you're going to go ahead and put a comparator right here coming out of this dropper and going into this block. This block right here will be where your door will be. Go ahead and place that there. And next you're going to go into this hopper and place one item. And you'll see the door open. Next, what you're going to do is go to this dropper right here. And you're going to have to crouch and place a dropper facing up. 
Next, you're going to take a hopper and place it into the top of that dropper. And then you're going to put an item into that hopper. Uh, when you place it into either of the hoppers, it will immediately move out of the hopper and into the dropper that it's facing into. So that's how that is supposed to be, if you are wondering. Next, place two blocks right here. Uh, with a comparator coming out of the hopper and a redstone repeat <clears throat> excuse me and a redstone repeater coming out of the comparator place a block in front of that repeater and then go ahead and delete these blocks right here and that one right there I'm going to switch this block to a block of choice <clears throat> You're going to take redstone dust and place it on that uh, block right there. And you're going to take a repeater coming out of this block right here and going into that dropper. And that should be it. Now when you come in through the door, you're going to want a way to shut the, the door from the inside. So you're going to place a block here. And just place a button right on top of or right on that block <clears throat> so now if I press this it will shut the door press it again it will open it if I put a redstone dust right here it will it will uh, shut it and open it so yeah that's basically it all you need to do is add your walls like so and the redstone is completely covered up so and this is how you actually should have it if you're outside but basically you just want the block that you're placing the redstone on to match the neighboring blocks so it's completely hidden yeah okay so that's it for the tutorial guys please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video it helps my channel out and thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys later. Bye.